Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Tanya with Mind, Body & Soul Company and I make aromatherapy bath and beauty products. If you're new here, welcome. I hope you'll stick around and become part of my YouTube family. So today I am doing a cold process soap uh, that has an ocean theme. Um, the beach is one of my favorite places. Um, it has a lot of memories from growing up and just something I've always loved. Uh, so definitely a soap I wanted to make as part of my summer series. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my uh, lye water poured into my oils. This is a palm free recipe and I'll leave uh, the recipe down in the description box in case anyone wants to try it. So I've got that all in and I do have some sodium lactate, um, had some sodium lactate in my light water as well. I'm gonna go ahead and pour some of this off for my sand layer. And that should be good there. So to this layer, I'm gonna add some Maya Gold from Nurture. And then I also have some um, colloidal oatmeal and some walnut shell. So gonna get that poured in there. Give it a little whisk. I wanted it to have a little bit of color to it, but also just some uh, good texture with the oatmeal and the walnut shell. So that's what that looks like there. And I'm gonna pour in just a smidgy of my fragrance oil, which is sea salt from Brambleberry. It's a really nice fragrance, not, uh, it does it this color. And it has some notes of black seaweed, white tea, uh, green lily, and rose, so it's a nice, fresh scent. Another quick whisk. And then I'm gonna blend it just for a couple of seconds and then I'm gonna get it in the mold. So this will be like our, our sand layer. Get that just evened out a little bit. So just gonna set my mold to the side for a moment. Now we're gonna get started on the rest of our layers. thickened up quite a bit. Just stir it up here a little bit. Okay. So I'm gonna pour um, a little bit of my remaining batter into each of these containers. going to take a brilliant blue from nurture and put it in this container and in this container 
And then we're putting green vibrance in this one. And just so it has, the water has some dimension, that's why I'm doing the different colors here. I'm gonna add in some titanium dioxide uh, that I dispersed in water to this one and to the green. And we'll leave this one as it is. I'm gonna go ahead and add my fragrance oil. Go. and then whisk each of these in. Really liking that color there. Let's see. Try to get all this off the sides too. Give these a quick whisk. And you'll see um, the blues are just a slightly different color there, so that'll, that'll add some nice dimension to our water. Try to get all that blended together there. And then right here, the ones that I added the titanium dioxide to, I'm gonna give a quick stick blend. So I'm gonna move that out of the way. We're gonna start with our blue here with the titanium dioxide. Set that to the side and now do our green. Not to make too big of a mess. I am normally a very neat person in everyday life, but man, when I make soap, I can be messy. It's probably the nature of the beast, but set that off to the side. All right, so now I'm gonna bring this bowl back and we're gonna take our green. And get that all scraped in. And my other blue. Get that scraped in. Set that off to the side also. And then I'm just gonna give this a quick swirl together. All right. That is looking good. So before I pour in my seawater, I'm gonna go ahead and just give a little texture to my sand layer. spatula but it's pretty thick so it may or may not be super successful possibly can here and 
my mess making has continued. <laughs> but that's okay. I'm getting it all in the mold, basically. Can definitely smell the sea or what you think of as the sea in the ocean in this scent. It's very fresh and bright and almost has a, a salty note to it. I really like it. Okay, I'm gonna put that off to the side also. Just get this evened out a little bit more. And get some of what I glopped on the sides back into the soap. a quick smackdown. Instead of smackdown, I guess I really should describe it as a, a tap down. Uh, smackdown sounds like I'm doing some sort of pro wrestling with my soap. All right. And then as far as the top, what I want to do is kind of get it all mounded up pretty good on this side. The ocean definitely has movement to it, so I want the top of this soap to have a lot of movement to it. There. Okay. Now, next, I'm going to spritz the top with alcohol now, and then I'm going to add some sea salts. I'm just going to real quick go around the edges. Good. And now to add my sea salts. And this is just a medium grain sea salt that I got from Brambleberry. I'm gonna put that right on this higher side. Just like that. It doesn't have to be in a perfectly straight line or anything. There we go. And it may seem like I'm putting on a lot of salt, but I'm gonna lose a lot of it when we go to cut it. I am putting on a lot of salt there. That should be good. All right, so I am going to let this set up for 24 to 48 hours, and then we will come back to cut. We are back to cut my ocean side soap. I do have it turned over on its side here just so the salts won't drag through the bar. Overall I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. The only thing that I'm not super happy about is the salts on the top have been weeping some. It's been really humid here the last few days so hopefully as it's curing that'll dry out and uh, won't continue to weep. And my inspiration behind this soap was just vacations to the beach. It's something that I've always really loved. Something about the sound of the ocean and having your toes in the sand or splashing out in the waves. It's just really special and just brings, 
brings happiness to my heart, basically. <laughs> I'm definitely happy with the dimension of the colors in the water layer. Having the two different blues and the green really gave it some movement. And I think the walnut shell uh, gave the sand layer more texture too. So the soap will be available in my Etsy shop on June 20th. I'll leave a link to my shop down below in the description box. And then I'm just gonna continue cutting the rest of my bars here. I hope you did enjoy today's video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. It definitely helps out my channel and I appreciate everyone's support. And I'll see you in the next one.